I shouldn't have looked at chat. That was dumb. Alright, let's do this again. <sighs> Back there in a flash. Yeah, that attempt only took 27 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Slate Night Gale roll, only attempt number two. Memes are dreams. Let's go. Ah, that's that that hurts. That actually hurts a little bit. All right, let's get back to it. So at least I know how to roll that in, but fuck, that's so annoying. I thought I had that on that attempt. I was will I was like hell yeah, first try. Let's go. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. It it kind of annoys me. Like, although it's weird, YouTube's algorithm works strangely, and I'm probably gonna be very self promoting for the next ten minutes. So, uh. I'm sorry in advance if you don't want to hear that. Um, I'm not super sorry, but I am, like, somewhat... I'm going to warn you against it. Um, uh, there was someone... Okay, so I did... Um, I did ONS, Gravelord Sword Dance Only, right? And I was like, okay, cool, that's, that's kind of a meme. Like, it was cool, and I was really happy with it, because um, I was at it for five hours. It had never been done before, and I had, like, this really cool bonding moment with a couple of guys from Joe's Discord, and uh, they stayed up for, like, fucking ever. It was so cool. And, um, they, they basically were, like, staying with it to see what the deal was, da 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 and I was like, oh, awesome, you know, this is great. And, um, basically, I finished it, and then I thought, okay, this is probably just gonna be a, a run that is, uh, no one's probably ever gonna watch, it'll be like a, you know, as much as this is probably being a little ungrateful, and I'll, I'll take it. I'm being a little bit ungrateful here. Um, a th like a 30 view video that no one will probably ever watch in the history of its like time on YouTube. Um, I was generally happy with it. I was like, hey, whatever, fuck it, I don't care. Like, I'll, I'll take it. And um, basically, um, it has now shot up to over a thousand views. Explain that. How? Like, who's watching this stuff? That's what I don't get. Like, I, I don't mind the fact that, like, people are watch I love the fact that people are watching it. It's awesome. But I am still very curious as to who's watching it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't get it. Like, it's it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Because for the most part, I just do runs that people are just going to find really weird and crazy. I'm going to be like, whatever. You know, but, like, the fact that it's done, like, okay is just surprising to me. Like, I I don't expect my videos to do well at all. I never do. I never do. If, if somebody looks at my video and then they go, yeah, all right, well, you know. Um, we get a laugh out of it. Okay, cool. But the fact that, that went so big in such a, sh like, a shorter amount of time than, like, one of the other videos that, like, hit over a thousand views, it's just fucking, I don't get it. I'm just grateful that people enjoy it, you know. But I am curious. You know, I'm curious to know what people see in it. I'm curious to know what, uh, like, if people are actually looking it up, you know, because that's, that's the cool part about it. It's, it's just, uh... It's cool. I, I missed that run, actually. That was, it was sort of insane, but it was, uh, it was pretty good. You know, it was kind of, it was kind of a nice run that, like, no one had done before, and I was doing it, because I was like, fuck it, whatever. Let's see if we can do this. I remember getting Artorius as well, and I got Artorius, and I was like, this is probably the only time that I'm ever gonna do this, because this run is ridiculous, you know? Um, but it's, it's, it was, it's honestly one of my favorite runs that I've ever done, because, uh, no one else had done it, and I was like, well, let's just try it legit and see what happens. And then I realized just how horrendous a run it is. Namely because Gravelord Sword Dance can't actually be aimed, um, and you just have to, like, bank on it doing something eventually. I don't know, I, I made a lot of friends during that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, go, go do it. If you, if you, if you're interested in that stuff, just go check it out. Um, Real McDan did Gravelord Sword Dance with Cheat Engine, and I was being one of those like elitist sort of purist kind of challenge runs at the time, and I just went, you know, what? fuck that. I'm gonna do it legit. I'm gonna be the first one to do it, and I'm just gonna do it. And I did. Um, although the run is hard walled at at 4 kings, so there's no way to do it. I, I don't honestly believe. If somebody ever beats four kings on that run, I will, like, I will gift them, like, a sub to whoever the fuck they want. Because that will be a fucking travesty. Of, like, that'll be insane. 
I mean, this is actually going pretty quickly, I'm surprised. What do we start at? Like 30 minutes in? Like 4 minutes in? Pretty, pretty well. Yeah, you're right, actually, this is going to be back pretty soon. Kind of sad that I didn't get this in the first attempt, though. Kinda happy I can roll through that the entire way. Ah, my face. Also, I did get Demon Prince earlier today. It was actually really fun. Demon Prince, uh, Kirk's armor roller and these are really, really fun. Really, really fun, uh, run to do. It's, like, it sounds crazy that I would say that, but, like, legitimately, it is such a, like, chill fight to just sit there and roll at that, like, a lot of people, I think if you ever, like, had just something on the background while you were doing it. It's actually like really relaxing. Gail, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, Gail. I mean, I won't judge you for where you went behind that wall, but okay. I mean, I am gonna judge you, but it's kind of weird. One, two, Gail, mate, mate, fucking, mate, okay. Where you going? Where you going? Oh god, I didn't see what that was. He had to do a quick three. He did, he did. Oh god, what's happening here? See, when he starts disorienting me is the point where I'm like, wait, what the fuck, you know, what am I supposed to do? I think we're okay here, though. Um... So, when I do eventually lose my sanity, I want my straitjacket to be in green, thank you very much. So if you guys can sort that out, I'd be really happy about it. I would legitimately be happy if it was a green straitjacket. I'd be like, hell yeah, it's my favorite color. Odd choice. Hey, Ed. Odd choice. What, Gale or the straitjacket? Or both? <laughs> That's a real question, right? The jacket, okay. <laughs> Not Gale. Oh man, you know you've made a fucking reputation for yourself when someone asks you about the like the thing you don't usually do. Oh boy, no matter how insane it is, Gale makes perfect sense for you. Yeah, exactly. Well, I died 27 minutes in. Ed, I was so mad. Not really. I was like, whatever. Was how you doing? How's life? Also, I'm probably not gonna like. Oh boy, yeah, it was. He was at like a little bit over, like a little bit under half health, and I died. I was so mad. I was like, "All right, sweet. I guess I'll restart." That was first attempt, though. I think we we're gonna get this on this one. At least I hope so. I, I couldn't imagine getting to like 50 minutes on Yom and then just dying. That would suck. Just it's just phase three. Gale phase three is my like worst part of this fight. I I do not know how to do it. Hey, wait, this is a strat. Hold up. That was a strat for a second. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. He just fucking... He just sat there forever. Hell yeah. What's how you doing, Ed? Also, I beat Demon Prince, by the way, Ed. I don't know if you heard that or not. But I, I beat it earlier today, and I was like, whatever. This is fun.
Not too bad, honestly. Real talk was actually very relaxing. I had some good people to talk to. I was talking to Aircon and I was talking to Moon the entire time. It was really, actually, honestly, quite a relaxing thing. They were just like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, yeah, good. Aircon was there. We were talking about uh, just souls and we were talking about life and it was really fun. Really, really fun. I, um, I also started doing Oops All Miss Nobles last night for a little bit. It was fine. I was just like, alright, this is pretty straightforward. Um, K-Tribe asked me to, like, stream it, but he wasn't on today. It's kind of, kind of sad. But I might just do that run at some point in the next day or so, just to, like, kind of have it done. Ow! Oops All Miss Noble, Enfeebling Nobles. Uh oh. How far did you get? I just played until like, um, just after, just before Ogre. That's about it. I didn't do it much. I was trying to save it for someone. Any shuriken? A shuriken slot? I I'd say so. I'm not like disallowing anything. I don't think it's gonna be that hard, to be honest. Harada might be difficult, but other than that, no, I don't think it's. I, like, Lobos did it. If Lobos can do it, I can do it. Did you just throw shade at Lobos Jr.? Well, I mean, if it was his first randomizer, then yeah. Also, I have a command, if anyone's, like, curious to know how many, like, how much health Gale has. Um, he has exactly, I think it's 15,083 health. It's a command that's literally just Gale HP. And you can, is it, uh, nah, I gave Madeira go earlier and it was fine, so I, I was gonna record that one. I didn't want to, like, just do it. Madeira was really fucking straightforward, I was like, alright, I guess we're just doing this. So, um, I'm gonna have to look away for a moment. My eyes are getting a little weird. <sighs> my optometrist said that if I, like, don't look away from my screen every 20 minutes or so, my eyes don't get long vision anymore. Which is not something I want. So I'm just gonna look away for a bit so I can let them relax. I'm gonna be here for the next 40 minutes fucking looking at my screen. Okay. Should be good. Is there water here? Fuck. I have a little bit of water. I didn't fill my water bottle up. I didn't even anticipate for this to be what it was. Um, let's do this one. Whee. Wait. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. I was just checking my rings. <laughs> Did we have to go do the crabs after this, Ed? The fucking... <laughs> the... Grave tender crabs. <laughs> Certainly, I'm. I, you, you know, I'm gonna ask you to to sub, right? <laughs> That's just gonna be annoying. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Come. I gotta watch this. I'm gonna get caught by this cape, that cape at some point. I am still terrified of phase three. Like Jesus. What the? His K 
cape animation disappeared. Uh, I just suck at it. I suck at phase 3. It's just the fact that he has, like, no openings, really. It's gonna take a while. Like, this is fine, but he has so many, like, comboed... <gasps> I'm not gonna talk. No talking. Just shut up. Shut up and play. God. He just has a lot of openings, and, like, a lot of just bullshit. Like, uh, like not a lot of openings, a lot of bullshit, so I'm sort of, like... Combos, bullshit, they add together to create a not fun time in phase 3. I gotta watch what my health is at right now. I think I'm okay. I'd rather just like not risk too much here, because I did die before and that wasn't fun. Oh god. Camera, unlocking, hell yeah, I love it. Mm, I think this is a full heal. Yeah, it's a full heal. That might have been a bad time to heal there. The problem with this phase, and like, the next phase, is that Gale isn't as, like, uh, he isn't as lumbering in this one, and he also stands up. Gale is standing up in this phase, and the only way to hit him is to hit his hands. His hands have, like, the shittiest hitboxes ever. This is almost worse than Cestus. Like, legitimately. Worse than Cestus, worse than Fists. This is kind of rough. But I can hit him here, because his hand's in front of him, right? So that's fine. So I have to, like, kind of clip across him, if that makes sense. So, like, I'm not rolling into his body. It doesn't work like that. Maybe I am? I just can't see it. And, like, the crossbow attack is, like, the best time to get in. But yeah, I don't think Medea's gonna be too bad. If I was gonna go- oh god. I stop talking, Mitchell. Just stop talking. Just focus on the fight. Focus on the fight. Where's my health at? The more he does crossbow, the better chance I have. Oh god. No. Nope. Oh god. That was a little scary. Fuck you, Gale. I'm gonna heal here. This is a little scary. I almost- I feel like I almost died there. I'm gonna Ember up just for my own sake though, because that was probably the best use of an Ember I can go with. Ah! Here's Ishi. See, it's moments like that that I literally can't hit him. It just kind of sucks. That's actually a really good time to get in. If I bait that out, we get a lot more hits in. Okay, I gotta... I do that more often. Good. Good, good, good. It's a weird position for him to be, but it might be better for me to get hits off. Those things are coming back. I gotta roll that, that's scary. Oh 
Oh god. Mm. Alright. So anyways. How's your day, Ed? What'd you get up to? I mean, I know you don't like me asking that question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. I know Kaylee said she was drinking before. I don't know if you were there. Uh, if you were with her in Discord or something. She was playing through Resident Evil uh, 7's DLCs last night. It was really interesting to watch. And, but she said she had to like go to sleep early. It was like me, Zat, and... Well, uh, Kaylee, Zat, and I. Sitting in Discord. Doing, uh... Uh, just watching Kaylee do this thing. It was a game of like, uh, 21 as one of the DLCs. Um, and it was kind of kind of rough actually she uh it was like a mini game of like cards and such and uh, essentially it was um obviously it's a game of 21 but uh it was kind of rough because like you get like fingers cut off and everything and i was like jesus christ this is rough but there was one really cool one which was called bedroom and essentially what happens in that is that it's like a memory game in a way. You have to like, re like sort of remember exactly where things are in the room to get f like get away from Marguerite. It was really, really interesting to watch Kaylee like kind of figure things out. Cause like she had a really, really good grasp on it. Which I was like, I was like, oh man, Kaylee's got like getting good at these puzzle games. I was stoked. It was really just stoked to watch, honestly. She was, um, seemed to be having a fun time. And I'm glad she's still enjoying Resident Evil 7 because she seemed to be like, she had like a, a struggle with it, but it's like one of her favorite horror games she's played, so I'm just glad she gets to play more of it. She seems to be just enjoying it, so that's good. Mm. That's a little scary. And it's been raining here for the last, like, two days now. Literally just, like, wind and rain. Which has been... it's been cool. In, in a way, it's been cool. But I went outside today and I was like, fuck me, Dad. It's like, it's just, like, violent rain. And, uh... No word from... Well, there was like a word from one of the emergency ministers about what was going on, but... It's been pretty bad. Like, I thought we were gonna have like floods and such, and there are certain areas that may actually get flooded. Which really sucks, because like... We had rains like this about five years ago, and they uh, they ended up just like... Causing us like so much trouble. I remember I, uh, I went for a walk once. And there was like this path, and there was like overhanging trees, and the tree was just collapsed. I was like, I've never seen this before. I've been like, you know, living in the area for a while, and I was like, Jesus Christ. So it was a little, um, yeah. Hopefully it's not that bad, but uh, I remember I went to the beach. And the beach had just disappeared. Completely and utterly disappeared. Just collapsed. There wasn't a beach left anymore. It was just rocks. And that was kind of creepy. There were a lot of people, like, standing down the beach going, Holy shit, there's no beach left anymore. It was pretty, pretty scary, actually. Okay, phase three. Alright, let's go. Here comes the hard part. I really like this music a lot. Okay, let's not fuck up on that attack anymore. Okay, so technically, not com not not purely no roll, but considering the fact that Gale just stood in the lighting that I had no real control over, apart from maybe like manipulating him around, I'm not gonna disqualify this. Gale took a little bit of damage from the lightning. 
say what you will about it. Oh wow, reset? I know, right? Fuck. Holy fuck. Just fucking, just ban this guy's account. He's just a fucking cheater. Hey, fuck. Ah, oh, he got hit again. I guess I'll just reset. Sorry, guys. Runs, runs invalidated. We're fucking out, dude. We are out, birds. We're out. Nah, nah. You know what, Pork? You're right. I better just fucking end it. It's it's done. It's. Worked. Could you imagine? Oh, you know what? I asked that question, but yeah, I could imagine someone being like, "Technically, you got hit by the fucking. Uh, he got hit by the lightning, so therefore it's not technically roll only because Gale got hit by the lightning, and you just you just qualified." Just, I could just imagine someone like such a fucking pen, uh, penchant for fucking, you know, disqualifying runs being like, didn't get it, bro. Alright, let's, uh, let's focus up because I died here last time and this is 24 minutes in and I'd rather not do that again. <laughs> also, hey, Pork, how are you? having a coffee hey nice nice yeah I feel like this this time of day is probably hitting everyone's like waking up or just going to sleep kind of vibe it's, it's weird for me it's 10 26 and I was like yeah fuck it whatever let's do this run hey the coolest attack in the game nice oh god all right let's stop talking yeah East Coast. yeah, yeah, yeah. makes sense So it's what, 8.26 is it? Am I, is that right? 8.26? Oh, 7. Okay. Oh, that's right, because you guys did daylight saving. That's right. I... Fucking, I forgot. Because I know Joe was... Joe, Joe goes live at 11am my time now, so I was like, wait, what's... You know, when he said, hey, I've got to go for stream, and I was like, wait, it's not, not midday yet. And then I remembered you guys switched your clocks over. So I was like, ugh. Oh. Kinda threw me off a little bit. Like, I don't know, that's like... I don't understand. Oh god, where am I? Uh, okay, I wanna switch something over here. Thank you. Okay, I- oh god, am I gonna get hit? Hopefully not. I wanted to switch over the, uh, the green blossoms there, only because, uh, my controller is a little fucky right now. I switched over to an Xbox 360 controller, and it double taps zero, and it double taps, um, uh, it double taps down sometimes without me wanting it to, so, um, I just didn't want to just scroll through the item if I was trying to get to the S's and then just, like, have it hit the fucking, um, uh, have it hit... Um, the, the budding green blossom rather than the normal one. <laughs> right, yeah. I think I'm used to it because of Joe now, that when he's like, oh, it's 4am, I'm like, okay, what's well, it's, it's about like 3, 4 o'clock my time usually, so it's not too bad. But it is weird to have like different time zones to rock through. And then sometimes you get some streamers who are just like, Oh no! I'm not dying here. Fuck you. Fuck you, Gale. I'm gonna heal. He's gonna run at me. A little scary. Sorry. Um, the controller has is wired. It's just a fucking ten year old controller that I I yoinked because my PS4 controller had a really shitty connection with it. The uh, the the micro USB cable was constantly fucking disconnecting so if I just like if I tilted it up a little tiny bit like five degrees up it would just disconnect oh fuck no fuck you Gail it would just disconnect so I just use and then like a constant reconnecting sound so I was like fuck this I'll just use an old like wired Xbox controller yeah 
It's just annoying, like, okay, fair enough, it's a first world issue, but as someone who, like, uses it a lot, um, having a controller that doesn't fuck up is probably a big, like, convenience kind of deal, so, uh, yeah, not having the fear, oh god, I'm gonna shut up for a second, not having the fear of it disconnecting is probably a, it's just a big thing for me, you know, so I, I'd rather make sure I'm actually, like, consistently connected rather than not, and just tank a fucking, you know, tank an issue that's not too big, you know. It kind of fucked me up during Scotch Contract, I, I must admit. But, uh, for the most part, it's it's fine, it's connected, I, I don't care about it at this point. But, <laughs> definitely not something I want to have on fucking hour-long runs of this, that's for sure. Like, oh hey, you know, I get to the last roll of Gale, and then I fucked it up. <laughs> Because my controller disconnected and I couldn't switch the keyboard and mouse fast enough, you know what I mean? Like, that would have just been the worst. So, yeah, I've just now since fixed it, so I don't complain about it as much anymore. Which is... Yay me, responsibility. I'm finally an adult. We got there. So why, yeah, why is, is, like, it's, it's generally the best way to go. Like, 100% is, like, two, three, roll away. The good thing is, I can roll into that, and I can roll it away. Yeah, why is just, like, like, generally speaking, if there's, like, a strong connection with it, like, it's just, it's so good. Um, you use, uh, is that a Xbox One Elite controller, is that what you're saying? Or is that something, or just like a, a different brand of just Elite? That's an Xbox controller, yeah. I was thinking I might like buy a new one, honestly. And do they, they run on like their own kind of cable, yeah? I'm gonna heal for this, I'm a little scared. They run on their own like actual wire, they don't use micro USB, USB-C. Oh, that's fucking amazing. I might buy one of those, or like at least buy a replacement. My face itches. Oh my god, my face itches. Sorry. It's, this is the biggest issue with these runs, is when my face or my body itches a little tiny bit. Not enough, but just enough. And I'm just like, I need to scratch this. I need to take my hands off the controller. So it's the real challenge of knowing when I can just safely do that. <laughs> or like, my nose itched the other day. Oh fuck. My nose itched the other day, and I was just like, I need to stop. I need to need to take a moment. So when I was doing Yorm, I just got hit by the slam, and I was like, "All right, this is it. This is where we're at." <laughs> that was funny. Oh man, I never expected it to be such an issue, but nope, it is now an issue. All right, how long are we at this? It's 33 minutes. Yeah, it's it's so hard. It's so difficult to be like, "Yeah, all right, I'll just." Yeah, I have to have that self control. We're getting here. This is very slowly but surely happening. I I'm just thankful that I can get to talk to you guys while I do this. It, it makes this a lot more enjoyable as an experience, so I appreciate you guys hanging out and talking. It's, uh, it's definitely made my night a little better. <sighs> and I hope you guys are having fun with this too. I'm having fun. I'm actually having fun now. I, I wasn't before because I didn't realize how long it's would take. It's all title and clicked. Yeah, it's 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 such a meme title. I was like, fuck it, whatever. It's one of those like moments where you're just like, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> if it's just this, I'll I'll do it. I think we're gonna get this pretty quickly though. I don't expect this to be hard. Although having said that, I I, I don't want to jinx myself. So let's find out how this goes. So we're at, uh, 34 minutes now. It's a little scary. We're doing okay. I, I legitimately calculated this to be a little longer. But, uh, I think Aircon and I did the maths on this. And Gale was gonna take an hour. We, we thought it'd be like an hour. I love this music. It was played in the trailer for it. I'm gonna just do this real quick. 
It was played in the trailer, and I fucking love this music. An hour, yeah, it was gonna take an hour. Like, Yorm took 59 minutes. And I sat through it, and I got it first try. Thankfully, I got it first try. So I don't have to, like, worry too much about it. That's a little scary. I'm gonna run over here. That's the fucking... Okay. Yeah. Yeah, an entire hour. Imagine that, an hour. I could have spent that entire hour playing Overwatch and getting better at Reinhardt. Pog. <laughs> Alright, we're at the Isle of Gale. That's pretty good. Haha, <laughs> Ryan, you're right. Actually, I probably would just fight Pog. I've been, like, ever since I got to the point with Overwatch where I just didn't care about winning anymore, my entire, like, perspective was just to play Roadhog. Insta lock Roadhog played Roadhog, and then that was it. And I was like, I like this game a lot more now. Like, I don't have to, like, think about, like, too much in the way of team comps. And Zarya's my favorite. I love Zarya. Zarya's great. I actually, like, the reason I, I got into Zarya was because someone that I knew ages ago, and she was really great. She was like, I really love Zarya. She's, like, really strong. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna learn Zarya too. Yeah, right, Akon? Yeah, exactly. I think it was just the fact that Phase 1's been pretty decent. Like, that's the that's the biggest contributor. And it's probably not even 2.5 seconds of roll here. It's like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, I feel that. Yeah, Phase 1 was really, really figuring, like, here. And then I can just roll away. That's like, what, 4 rolls in, like, 2 seconds? So yeah, this is a lot faster in terms of DPS than I thought it would be. Which is really nice. Yeah, there's something really nice about playing Zarya too. Um, especially when you get like good bubbles on people. Like, like I, I, this is gonna sound such like, like an e-boy thing to say, but like my favorite moment is like you'll be playing with a Mercy and then suddenly she'll get hooked by someone and then uh, you, you'll bubble it and then they'll be like, oh my god, you saved my life. And I'm like, yes, I did. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, that was me. The Zarya player, I did that. <laughs> or just like someone who gets hooked and then like, they are so shocked that they're still alive because you bubbled them into something and you're like, yes. You have enjoyed the moment of, of living because I pressed E. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. It's that like, horror of like, alright, I'm dead, you know, this Roadhog has me, or someone's about to snipe me, or like, I'm I'm getting pinned by a Reinhardt, I just got like, bubbled on the way out. <laughs> right? It's so true, you're like, man, I, I do love the fact that you just gave me 40 charge and I can go do stuff again. <laughs> it's, a, it's this real like, selfless, but also very selfish motive behind it. I got hit by the skulls, rude. I'm gonna heal in a moment. I, I really don't want to, like... This could snowball really easily, and I, I don't really want to risk anything here. Having said that, this will be the moment I die. Okay. One... No! What are we at? The G of Gale? Alright, sweet. Where are we at? I, it is it is a funny moment though. I, I I used to get really mad with teammates who used, used to feed like a lot, and then I realized that if I just play Zarya and then someone gets like someone feeds or by like by seriously bad positioning, all I need to do is press E and I get 40 charge, and then I walk up and do the same thing, and this is like wait, wait, I'm I'm actually like making value for once by everyone's like lack of game sense, and I was like wait, this is actually amazing. This game is so much more fun now. People's mistakes are my strengths. Alright, we're in the tea of night. That's cool. Sorry, I I I I, I should censor that, sorry. Ah, just, uh... My eye! Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Oh 
Really? What was that like? Here, bronze is a very weird place to be. I yeah, here bronze is terrible. I had a friend who wanted to get better at communication, like actually speaking up during like team. Oh god, Kale. Oh god. Get better at like communication, so he actually made an account through to uh, through to bronze, and then uh, got better at like talking to people, and uh, he saw some things in bronze. He said he saw a couple that used to queue every single night. Who were platinum border, like the plat border five star back when it was like the highest border. And he said they used to just, like, that was them every single night. They used to play a lot too. And I was like, and they just never used to climb. They were always bronze. And I was like, that's kind of weird. But then I guess, I don't know. You can't. No, die now. I won't. I won't. I won't. It's fine. Promise. How long is this attempt so far? 40 minutes. Okay. 40 minutes, that's not too bad. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem, right? And you don't know people's motives either. You don't know if they're, like, just chilling out when they play the game or if they're actually, like, playing to get better. You know, you don't know. Sometimes I'll just, like, fuck around. I know, like, I know people who've been, like, yeah, they say exactly, exactly. Sometimes they just don't care. They don't want to improve. They just want to have fun doing something. Like, they could have, like, super stressful lives and you just don't know that they're just like, yeah, fuck it. Overwatch is our, like, way of getting away from it all. Like, you don't, you don't know, right? Aren't there casual cues for that? Uh, good question. That's true. That's true. You could cue casual. I don't know, maybe they, maybe they just enjoyed playing competitive. Alright, the end of nights. Yeah, bronze. <laughs> true. Fucking true. Did you play Overwatch at all, Akon? Was that your thing? Was was Overwatch your Overwatch your thing at any point? Because then it obviously was for me and Pork. I wasn't sure if you ever like played. Never gelled. No, that's fair. It, honestly, like, real talk, never, ever gelled with me either. I just kind of forced myself to get good at it. I don't know why. Like, I have 2,000 plus hours in Overwatch, and I still never feel like I was good. Like, legitimately. People will be like, you're so good, and I'm like, I never feel like I'm good. That Overwatch never feels like a game that I'm actually good. Oh, no, Lightning. Yeah, I, I feel that. When I, when I, like, actually stopped playing Overwatch, like, legitimately stopped playing it, like, uh, back in 2019, like as hard as I used to, I switched over to, uh, I switched over to playing, uh, TF2, and strangely enough, I actually enjoyed it a lot more. Like, TF2 for me was super casual, until I started getting serious with it. Um, and, uh, I don't know, it was more of a, like, a, I don't know, it felt a little bit more casual, and I enjoyed that a little bit more. So that was nice. Like, it wasn't as, like, serious. I'm gonna actually, like, take safety heal, so I'm not fucking this up. It used to be a little nicer, you know what I mean? Like, you didn't have to focus too much on... Stop playing over, like, a year ago. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, I mean... I played Overwatch this year, but... Every time I try to get back into it, I'm like, why do I want to get better at this game? And I just can't. Like, I understand there's probably some, like, you know, self-improvement philosophy out there that tells me, oh, you should definitely improve the things that you're not good at, but, like, Overwatch is just not one of those things. I've done it. I, I got good at it. I, my, my, my accomplishments in it have been recognized at least a little bit, and then, right, like, if I, if somebody asked me to play Overwatch, I'd probably be like, yeah, I'll do, like, a game or two, but, like, the warning is always with me is that I get very serious with Overwatch, so, like, don't expect me to be, like, you know, uh, don't expect me to suddenly... Uh, not shot call or stuff like that because like it's unfortunately ingrained in my head so much so it's difficult for me to like shake that as a thing 
Which is why I generally don't go near it, because my serious side comes out very easily in that game. And it's it's difficult for me to like actually shake it, you know. So I, I try not to like play it as much as I used to. It takes me like an hour for me to get like very, very involved in it, and I just I just can't. I, I click too easily into the mindset of like I have to win and then I just like don't have fun with it. Which is what which is what sucks, because the game just got ruined for me because of that reason. I ruined it myself, you know. I'm gonna not take this. This is probably too scary here. I'm gonna take this though. I think I'm okay. Yeah, we're fine. Um, I want a hill. I don't like this hill. This is a bad hill. Yeah, exactly. Like, the one thing I found strange about Overwatch is people got very good at it. Like, like ridiculously good at playing Overwatch. And I just, I never understood it. I was like... I don't know. My friend Dean had this philosophy about it. It was like, yeah, once they nerfed Genji, I just didn't give a fuck anymore. Because, like, the game didn't seem as fun. And we still, I, I still hold true to the idea that Season 2 of Overwatch was the best season of, like, of Overwatch ever. That was the best one. Maybe Season 3 to a certain point. But, like, Season 2 of Overwatch was the best one. Like, there's no way it wasn't. Alright, I think we're okay here. <laughs> I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Not super scared, but like a little tiny bit like, okay, I fucked this up, we're in trouble. But I live for the memes. And this is the meme. One. Yeah, I got to about the same rank. I think my 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 peak was on on tank at thirty four hundred, but I uh my my actual like peak on like open queue was uh thirty two ninety three something like that thirty three thirteen one of those one. It was around th it's around the same as you, but like maybe a little bit lower. Like I'm not gonna dick swing. I think I was a little bit lower. Like thirty two hundred was like my actual like peak for the most part, and I was fine with that. Like I didn't care. This is something about playing in, like, mid-diamond that I just, I just didn't want to know about. Like, there are people who play in Masters and they're very serious and, you know, da 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 and they have to win all the time and they're DPS players and, you know, what have you, but... For the most part, I... I found that once I got to diamond, the game was too serious for me. This was an entirely different beast and I was like, no, I'm good. Is this it? Are we there? We got it? Gale? How much health have you got, Gale? One more roll? How, how, how much? Is this it? Ah, there it is. There it is. Slave Night Gale. Armor of Thorns. Roll only. It's done. Alright. There are the stats. There you go. Enjoy it. I mean, technically... World's first, I guess? What the fuck? It's it's there, it's done. It's not a hard thing to do. I, I'm not gonna ask anyone else to do it. It's, it's whatever. Enjoy. <laughs> there it is. Slave Night Gale, Armor of Thorns, roll only, on new game is done.